Hey everyone, we are back for another fun and delicious recipe here at Driven in the Kitchen and back by popular demand is Mr. Manny DeBonis. He's gonna show us another recipe and this one actually comes from your mama, right? Yes, from my mother. Okay, we're gonna be preparing dinner today for about eight people. We're gonna start off with some olive oil. Uh, we're gonna use about half a cup and pour it into the pan. We're going to add a stick of butter. We're gonna put in uh, one of these large bouillon cubes of uh, chicken and uh, let that saute and melt into the butter and the olive oil. Right here is our water. Turn it on to boil. Next, we're gonna saute our chicken. They're pretty large breasts. I did pound them and trim them. It's gonna be baked afterwards on both sides. We want it to braise. Okay, our broccoli's been blanching for the last four minutes or so, so we're gonna take it out and retain the water. Preheat our oven, take it to 375 degrees. Our next step is add the chicken broth till it comes to a boil. Next step is to cook raw egg noodles. We're going to finish off our sauce. And see all those delicious trimmings on there and so on? They're gonna give all that flavor into us adding our cream of chicken soup. I'm gonna add the cream of chicken soup in now. I'm gonna use it all. This is two large cans. The last thing you want it to do is to be dry. Now, some people like to stir this with a spoon. My personal preference is whisk. Seems to blend it all together a lot better. And all of it'll just disappear into the soup. Yeah, that's good. There you go. You know they say the trick to that is? No, what? Take a wooden spoon and put it over the top and it'll never boil over. Really? Yeah. You gotta keep whisking until it's totally smooth. We're gonna add a little half and half to this. You can use light cream, heavy cream, even milk. Okay, we're gonna lower this to low for now. Let it just simmer. All right, we're gonna slice up our chicken into smaller pieces since each of these breasts are pretty large. I like to cut them on an angle, it just makes them look nicer. And then of course I put them back and you can see they're not totally mm -hmm. cooked yet. So that's why we need to bake this. I always like to put the noodles on the bottom. And I make a nice layer. All right, our next step is to uh, layer broccoli. Next is our chicken. I'm gonna layer these in. Okay, our next layer is gonna be uh, cheddar cheese. Shred this on top. Our next step will be to take the sauce, pour it over. Last step, a little garnish. Some Italian parsley that I've chopped. And we are good to go. We're good to go to stick in the oven. That looks amazing. This will cook for about 45 minutes at 375 degrees. Should come out a little brownie on top and all the sauce will be melted in. Perfect. Oh, that looks amazing. You want to try some of this cheesy Absolutely. deliciousness? Absolutely. Not wait to dig in. This looks amazing. I got to get a noodle or two here. Mmm. Thank you so, so uh, much for being here. So much fun. That. We always love having you here. I, I love coming here. It's Absolutely. Great. It's a lot of fun. So from our Driven Kitchen to yours, another awesome recipe in the books here. And uh, we're going to go because we have some good food to eat, right? Right. <laughs>